Another of your listeners asked, how can I improve my character? Step one, do no harm. Stop doing bad things. Don't talk about adding good deeds until you get rid of bad deeds. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't talk about giving a patient medicine until you stop the bleeding first. It doesn't make any sense, you know. So you got to stop the entertainment addiction. You got to stop the, the, the watching the filth. You got to stop. You got to start lowering your eyes when you're walking down the street because you're becoming less of a human every time you stare at a woman and you stare at her like she's a piece of, a piece of meat, like she's an animal. That just means you've lost respect for a fellow human being. That's all, that's all that means. Mm -hmm. To you, that's nothing, nothing but you're looking at her like a, 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 an ape looks at a female ape. You know, like a dog looks at a female dog. That's all you've turned into an animal. Regain your humanity first and then embellish, beautify your life with good deeds. Do simple, small things. Get perfect your prayer, memorize a few supplications, try to, you know, uh, be honest in your workplace. Be kind to your mother. These are not complicated things. This is what the Creator wants from us. That's all but, He wants. But if someone says, why? Why does He want this from me? What, what is it? Is this benefiting Him? That's a great question. Um, everything Allah wants from us, his, his, one of His names is Al-Ghani. Ghani means someone who doesn't need anything. And He told us that in, in an ayah in which He basically told us to do certain things. And He says, al Ghani. And He's free of need. al fuqara You're the ones that are bankrupt. Now, in that ayah, he doesn't need anything and we need everything because we're bankrupt. And then he told us to do a few good deeds. And if you do a few good deeds, he will make you ghani. He'll make you free of need. He'll give you, shower you with blessings. Not only are good deeds beneficial to us because they in and of themselves are like medicine, but they bring with them bonuses in this world and the next world. You be kind to your mother and you never know. You've been looking for a job forever and you're also mean to your mom. You start being kind to your mother and mysteriously you get a call back. I want you to come in for an interview. The blessings of being kind to your mother. One good deed will open up other doors for you. This is what Allah does in this world. Whoever becomes conscious of Allah, يَجْعَلَّهُ مَخْرَجًا He starts making doors open for them, making a way out for them. وَيَرْزُقُهُمْ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسَبِ He starts providing him from where he couldn't even imagine. All because this person became conscious of Allah. Right? That's all Allah is asking us of. And He's asking us for us to make our life better. Last comment. Allah says, you know, people say, what does God want? It's a really fundamental question. What does God want? There's, an, there's a few ayat that tell us the answer. One of them is, يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ لِيُخَفِّفَ عَنْكُمْ وَخُلِقَ الْإِنسَانُ ضعيفة. Allah wants to lighten your burden. And, the, man, and human, the human being was created weak. You think you're making your life easier by partying? You're making it harder. I want ease for you. I want to take the burden off of you. You just don't understand it. You're too weak. You know, subhanAllah.